from Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry the King Lawler. As the bell sounded, we saw a very, very weak handshake between the man with the stars. He's the mass superstar who is making his uh, uh, debut here in the Sam Houston Coliseum and facing Jerry the King Lawler. Lawler in his colorful regal costume is a man who is probably better known throughout the Middle West, particularly around the Tennessee, Kentucky area, and then in all, all branches of the country. But uh, partic his home base is in Memphis, Tennessee, and he, when he wears that crown, he wants you to know that he is the king. The superstar, well, he's a huge man, I can tell you that. He's about 285 pounds, and he is a, a solid, solid citizen. When I say about 285 pounds, you want to remember that wrestlers don't get weighed in for every match in the heavyweight class. The heavyweight class, if you're over 220, you're in it. Whether you weigh 500 or whether you weigh 222, you are in the heavyweight class. And Lawler here is is a man who at about 240 is a solid citizen and he knows his way around. He uses the pile driver and has caused a tremendous amount of controversy uh, over his use of it. And probably the one that most people remember best was when he applied it to a television star by the name of Andy Kaufman, who has since become the late Andy Kaufman. And Andy spent some time in the hospital, but he admitted afterward he had asked for it, and he caught it. The superstar, masked, of course. Now, the original superstar, Billy Graham, was not a man who wore a mask. There were times when some people suggested he should have, but uh, Bill had those muscles that won him the finest trophy for the finest arms in the entire country, and he still has them. Tough customer. Twisting arm lock with Jerry Lawler doing the twisting, and you can literally see the curve of that uh, arm go up through the muscles and up to the shoulder. He's turning it now into a hammer lock, or at least he's trying to push it up uh, behind the back in arm bar fashion, but as the mask superstar rises, you can see that he's still content with thinking that he can take care of Lola with wrestling skill. Now Lola's the kind of a guy who is a real switch hitter. And when somebody wrestles him, he, he loves it. And when somebody kicks him in the face, he loves it, and he'll get right out and kick back. He has done this throughout all of his career. So the superstar, hard to handle, but Lawl is smart. Lawl is smart. He's not going out there to infuriate him into getting mad. He is not out there trying to uh, push him into getting rough, but he knows that he can wear him down with holes like this. This hold has turned into a Hamelock and 
He, he wants to get at that mask. You see him reaching over there <coughs> for it. Because now he has probably decided that if he makes them mad, so be it. Now you keep in mind that while this match you are watching is being taped at the Coliseum on Friday night, that we are telling you right now that if you're watching it on Saturday on television, 39, of course, why you know that tomorrow at the Sam Houston Coliseum starting at 7 o'clock, one of the biggest and best and certainly the last card of 1985. And the if you're watching on Sunday, then it's tonight at the Sam Houston Coliseum when you will see a tremendous bill of action and tickets are on sale all day long all day Sunday at 1919 Caroline at the corner of Pierce in downtown Houston the five minute mark has been called in this match and the action at the Coliseum on Sunday night is 7 p.m. yes Ted DiBiase who was hospitalized about six weeks ago and who was proclaimed out of wrestling is now back into wrestling. He is going to take on the man who put him in the hospital. And that man, of course, is Dickie Murdoch, who literally busted his head open and showed him no mercy. This is going to be a wild and rugged battle here at the Coliseum Sunday night at 7. And we will have the winding up of the feud between Hacksaw Butch Reed and his arch rival Dick Slater who, whose valet, Dark Journey, will find that her services are up for grabs. If Butch Reed wins, he's going to have the services of Dark Journey for the next 30 days and he wants it. He wants to teach her some manners. So as Jerry gets up and he starts flailing with that fist, he found that tender territory and through the ropes and off onto this cold Coliseum concrete comes Jerry Lawler and ooh, he was lifted and he was thrown right through the ropes and as he rubs his knee, you can tell that as he came down, those knees spun around and hit up against the concrete. So as he makes the first step toward getting in, the superstar comes lowering the boom on him just above us, laying it down there and hauling across him with a solid smashing elbow. Lawl is on the outside. And as he hangs on the outside of that ring, he keeps his his grip and he got back in there as quickly as possible. He was at a disadvantage on the outside. He couldn't make a forward move, but right now he is catching it. And Lawler, just like you and I, he, Lawler doesn't like to catch. He likes to pitch. He likes to throw everything he's got at his opponents. And as he takes a beating to rise up to his feet, the, the masked superstar is scoring points. No, no question about it as he lays that big fist of his in there. He's got, he's got Jerry a bit stirred and he is mad. He ripped that garment off from over his shoulder and he said, that's enough of that. And here he is to turn around and start to wail away at um, the masked superstar. He's going for the pile driver. He's got, oh man, he had it. He came down there with a crash. There is one, there is two. But the superstar with that tremendous arm power of his was able to bench press him up there in a jiffy. He threw him up in the air. And the king, Jerry Lawler, goes after that mask. He wants another trophy beside his own mask, I'll tell you. And the superstar wants a moment's respite if he can get it. He, his mask is about to come off. The, the, the laces are coming unglued and as the as the superstar rises up 
he oh he come over there with a uh, driving headbutt right smack into the jaw and the masked superstar has just uh, just taken the measure of Jerry Lawler and something something was down on the um, canvas that something was underneath the mask of the superstar and Jerry Lawler has it and he shows it to the to the referee there is the verdict not the one you saw called the winner on a The disqualification reversed the decision, and the winner is Jerry the King Lawler. And we'll see you at the Coliseum Sunday at 7 for sure. Don't miss it. Remember, we warned you, don't miss it.